Well, let's have a look at this absolutely lovely classic Burley, isn't it? Well, I recognise it as Burley. It's the interior rim decoration that gives it away with this rich gilt around the outer side. Uh, Blue Willow uh, pattern, all the elements of the classic Blue Willow design in uh, two blocks of pattern on the outer aspect. Should have a nice Burley wear. There you go. Burgess and Lee, Burley wear, Willow, pictorial pattern made in England. Quite an early piece this, 1930s, 1940s perhaps, in lovely condition. Good gilt retention around the rims. Always worthwhile checking Burley uh, Willow, that its gilt's bright. And just look at that, the reflection on that. Lovely. Pristine interior, little bit of crazing just in the very base there. Uh, commensurate with its age, it's damn near an antique with this. Um, and a lovely little open sugar bowl. Not many people use sugar bowls anymore, do we? But fantastic table piece of uh, porcelain to take nibbles to the table we use these for snacks around the farmhouse and uh, repurpose them as such and a lot of people have cottoned onto that if you're doing a table serving and you've got blue willow then use these for small sauces dips uh, nibbles crisps peanuts those type of things and uh, they work really really well on a table if you can think a little bit outside the box and not think that they've always got to contain sugar. Lovely piece of period, near antique Burley, willow pattern, 1930s, maybe 1940s, but I'd go 1930s on this up until 37 when the gilt stopped going on because of uh, the war. So um, follow the link description below if you like this sugar bowl. We get them occasionally. They're not rare, rare Burley blue willow, but... Yeah, they did do it well and if you're going to collect blue willow then again i'd either go burly willow or i'd go booze real old willow from personal preference but it's up to you lovely piece follow the link description take you through to the website listing thanks for watching